with Groundhog Day upcoming, we thought we would dig into the history books a little bit uh, here on Weather Nation. Meteorologist Steve Glacier here with you. And on record, the first fill forecast came in 1887. He saw his shadow that morning, which meant that we would have a longer winter. And it was partly true. Parts of the north and east ended up being colder than average, according to monthly weather summaries through February and March, while the southern tier and more areas ended up actually being warmer, so it was only partly true. Now, if you look at the history, according to Noah, of what we have on record, Phil has seen his shadow way more than not seeing his shadow. 19 times, most recently last year, not seeing the shadow compared to 104 times seeing the shadow. So it had us wondering how accurate is that when you look at the last 10 years, according to Noah, well, you have to do a little bit more digging too. So these are the forecasts uh, that Phil actually had from 2010 seeing his shadow. If you look very closely at the icons, not seeing his shadow just last year, and then what ended up happening in terms of getting it wrong in the X and then getting it right in the check mark. Uh, to get it right or wrong, you look at the monthly temperatures and February and March, and if they were warmer or cooler than average compared to what the actual prediction said. So about 40% accuracy over the last 10 years, just looking at the lower 48 temperatures. We'll see what this year brings as we're hoping that Phil can get this one right this year. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Steve Glacier.